Hey, what's up YouTube? I know it's been a while since I made a video, but we're back. I just bought another vehicle today, or the other day. I looked at it a couple months ago, and she says she ever wants to sell it, she's gonna call me. She did. I picked it up, got it for like a thousand bucks, just to let you know, my old mechanic, you run into special little deals all the time, so you wanna be prepared and save some money up, and so you be ready for it. You know, certain little things that will come your way when you're doing yeah. Check engine light still on. Starts up. So we're gonna do it several times probably. As long as that check engine light is on, the vehicle will start. Just like that. So that's where we're at, guys. So when the check engine light's not on, when you turn the key in the on position. When it's not on, the vehicle won't start and you won't be able to pull out the key. Is the symptoms. And uh, yeah. So what I've been doing, of course, I've, like I said, I've been jumping the starter relay and it starts up. Now racing codes will not crank this car up. I tried that already. Put my scan tool on it, hook up. There's no calm anyways on that. Sometimes there's a no calm. So let's go, uh, let's get the scan tool back on it and then we'll go from there. All right guys, I just got home from the, uh, from the VA and uh, you notice the check engine light is on. The vehicle is now running, but watch this. I'm gonna shut it off and I'll be able to start it right back up. Check engine light is on. Oh, I don't have the relay in, of course, because the relay is right here. But if I did, it would start up. Uh, so yeah, so let me show you what I did to start it up. The check engine light will come back on and we'll go from there. Let's just go through what I went through. So what I was thinking when I first saw this vehicle and it wouldn't start, I thought it was weird. Well, check engine light's not on. Well, let me just see if I can start this thing up by using my power probe and just start and just give voltage to the power and give voltage to the starter relay. So that is what we are going to do right now. We're going to give uh, we're going to give the starter relay voltage at the correct pin, and we're going to jump to see if it'll start. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the key in the on position, so when it starts, it'll start. When it cranks, it'll start. So. All right, the key is in the on position. Now you're gonna find your, uh, you're gonna find your starter relay. 11 volts there. This is gonna be my starter. And there it is right there. It starts right up. Well, it did start right up. But uh, let me show you where I'm at. That prong right there, you give that prong voltage right there. I'm sorry, that prong right there. It starts up. It starts up, so uh, now let's go back inside the vehicle and I'll show you what I'll show you what I found. Check engine light's gonna stay on and it's gonna start up for a couple times. You'll be able to remove the key and everything. I already think I know what I'm gonna do to this vehicle to fix it, hopefully. I think I'm just gonna change out the engine computer. You notice there, all right, if you notice there, the check engine light is now on. I'm gonna turn the key off, pull the key out. So now the key comes out. Check engine light comes on, it's gonna start. Oh, what the hell? Wait, I don't have the relay in there. Otherwise it would have started. So let me go back out of here real quick. Sorry guys. Almost made me into a liar. Hold up. We're gonna put the relay, there it is. And that goes right here. Okay. Now it'll start. 
All right. And that's basically what we have right now. So I haven't done too much more than that. I put it on scan so I can now get into the engine computer. I can read codes. So that's why I say I think I'm just going to throw another computer in it and be done with it. It's shifting kind of funny too. Uh, it's downshifting really hard into second and first gear. Like, oh, So, uh, I think that has, I think it's a computer issue that we're having. I've known these cars to have some issues with their PCMs or ECMs. So, I think I'm just going to start there. And it's actually pretty logical, man. Check engine light works now. Turn the key off. Pull the key out. Let's take it back in. Check engine light is on. It's going to start. So, and when the check engine light is not on, like it wasn't a little while ago, a few minutes ago when I first started this video, it's not going to start. No check engine light, no start. All right, so we got the AC blowing like ice. Yeah, this ice cube's coming out of these vents right now. So, uh, so that turned out to be good. So I don't have to fix any AC. I just got to fix this um, this no crank condition. It's going to be, a, I think it's going to be a computer issue, programming issue or something like that. Just the simple fact that the check engine light is not, it's not, when it doesn't come on, it doesn't want to start. There's my downshift. You feel that? Oh, it, it is number one, two, and one when it downshifts. I don't like that. See if it does that after I get the new computer in there. And then if not, I'm gonna be looking for another problem. See if it connects. Check engine light is on. It would not connect. It would not connect if the check engine light's not on. So that's normally a a clue anyways when your check engine light doesn't come on, when you turn the key in the on position and it doesn't come on. I feel like the zombie do to do that. There it goes again. That car wash is closed. I want to get the thin car. I want to get it washed. All right. So it's no, it's no calm on that. So we'll get back to that later. And uh, see what we got. Something's wrong with the system. I can't connect to the computer. All right, even though, you know, it, uh, I didn't change the computer out or anything like that, and I can start the vehicle up, it says the configure system has not been detected on this vehicle. So nothing has been found. System scan. Look, not equipped, not equipped, not equipped, not equipped. Powertrain, the engine computer, not equipped. Everything is not equipped, but yet I'm driving the car right now. Although the transmission is downshifting hard in second and first gear, downshifting, and uh, you know the vehicle won't start <coughs> unless that check engine light is on when you turn the key in the on position only, not the start position, the on position. So. Uh, Oh, see that downshift right there? It almost chirps tires. It downshifts that hard. I think we just need to get another... I don't know. We're going to pop another computer in there because it's not going to cost me a lot of money. And uh, because that's my best, best guess right now. I'm not turning off the car because I don't want it to not start for me when I get out. So I'm going to leave the AC running for you, buddy. All right. I'll leave the AC for you. All right, that's what it looks like. Yeah, at the car wash. I mean, at the gas station. All right, guys, we're on the test drive here. Everything is doing great. We're on the test drive. And everything is looking really good. Uh, it's no longer shifting, down shifting hard. Everything is shifting perfectly. No jerk, nothing. So uh, yeah, man, that's a fix, man. Just popped in another computer. This was a class two, class two, uh, what 
Coils that test to air. Uh, I don't even remember how to, how to say that right. Air test to communication error. Yeah, that's nice, man. I'm excited about it. No more downshifting. That was horrible. That downshifting was hard. It was like, hurl. It was almost like I was, uh, almost like it was breaking itself. Yeah, I'm excited about it. Guys, that's a wrap, man. This is, uh, another job successfully done. Guys, what I really want to do is I want to get my subscriber base up a little bit higher than what it is. I think I'm like 7,000, 7, 7,500, I don't know, uh, subscribers right now. I have to check that. I don't know. It's close. Uh, get my subscriber base up just a little bit. Start putting out more videos with better content and a more variety of content, not just... Well, it's all going to be based around being a mobile mechanic and diagnostic repairs and things like that. And, and sometimes some step-by-step -step videos on all sorts of things. I think I have like, uh, I don't know, maybe 200 videos out there. Uh, and uh, anyways, I'm trying to get to a, where I get a certain level so I can make... So I can say, hey, you know, uh, YouTube, my subscribers got me this uh, Ram Master van, which is I'm thinking about getting. But I love for it to be paid by by YouTube, by my YouTube, uh, my, you know, the amount I get every month from YouTube. And I go right to my car payment or to my new van payment. And I can show you guys how I'm going to build the van. And uh, my next level of mobile auto repair uh more comfortable you know nice big cargo area you can separate my tools and have a compressor back there whatever and we can build that together too so that's like and subscribe guys send me uh support my channel send me a cash app dollar sign hayes auto james will pop up uh and uh man i'm gonna get there we get there it's gonna be fun it's just another evolution of what i've been working for all these years and hopefully if you guys watching my videos you'll know even though i've been doing this for 14 years now I, 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 no this damn dog dog's coming no oh, come here boy the dog got away stop it stop it let me go get him Hey guys, that's it for today. I'll see you next time. It's Hayes Mobile Auto Repair. We're in Brandon, Mississippi. Peace. All right. So I got him. He does that on purpose to piss me off. He says, I'm running. You can't do nothing about it. And he just runs past me and back to the people and runs past me won't let me catch them and runs back to the people and they get close so the people end up grabbing them for me most of the time <laughs> so uh it's crazy he's definitely gonna be like uh like ace he's smart as ace he's as hard-headed as ace too when he was a puppy his name is boy by the way i named him boy boy stop it boy boy get out boy <laughs> So boy, it was appropriate. And he, he, he responds to it, so he likes it. So anyways, guys, that's it. I just wanted to tell you some plans and the things that I want to do with uh, YouTube and get my subscriber base up. And hopefully you guys are enjoying the videos, man. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. You know, the ride-alongs, the... The how to be a mobile mechanic video and you know all those videos and all the diagnostic videos and part changing videos and hopefully yours well I know there's a lot of information in there for you so 
If you haven't watched, go back and watch all my videos. Alright, you guys, it's Hayes Mobile Auto Repair. We're in Jackson, Mississippi. No, we're in Brandon. I'm sorry, Brandon. I just moved here, so. So, yeah, Ace Pass, guys. I don't know if I mentioned it in another video or not, but Ace has been gone for like five months, and I've been going through it, and, you know, losing, you know, losing my bud for 14 years in my truck, running the business with me. So, yeah, I miss him. And uh, I went through a drinking phase, and so now I'm getting back there again. And I got another dog. So I'll see you guys next time. Let's go jump in the shower. Peace. Come on, let's go. Let's go. sideways walk. We're doing our, uh, we're doing our, getting our exercise in. It's pretty important to keep fit, especially when you're out here doing mobile work, keeping yourself motivated, keep yourself on track with your goals, mind, body, and spirit pretty damn important in anything you do so we're out here getting ours and I can tell you from experience it helps it helps if you got something on your mind man go 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 to the gym take a walk and uh, hopefully it'll turn into a habit and you'll need to walk because you'll see how uh, or exercise because you see how beneficial it is to your mental state and you know how you feel the next day it, it plays a big part in all of that and being self-employed and doing you know everything uh you need all the little extra advantages you can get so that's one of, that's the reason i do it and uh it helps so anyways we're gonna get this in and uh, I'll see you next time.